Hello everybody, my name is Dude, and welcome back to The Beginner's Guide. Ah, hand, stop. Rubbing up against the plate. Okay. We're in a game to where this environment Koda wanted to us to talk Koda's to someone else. With the two doors on either side, and a dark transitional space between. Hmm. Fair enough. This does look like a really nice house, though. In a deserty landscape. Hello? Oh my goodness, I'm glad it's all heck you showed up. Though I might have be, be having to clean this entire house all by myself. Right miserable as that would have been. Everyone knows lonesome hands make lousy helms. You'll notice that the quality of the art is a Are we cleaning this whole place? Time, including this new and That's the story, little system, one. Which he started using from this point on. From here on out, he begins putting much more effort into the visual polish of his work. Mm. And this particular game took two months to create as a result. Oh, wow. Run to the bedroom and make the bed. Got it. It's a rather chill little game. I like it. Now we can just straighten out the rug a little bit. Got it. All the little details matter. How'd you end up doing this job? A friend dragged me along at a time when I was particularly desperate for cash. Turns out I've never felt so good doing something for money in my whole life. Never did like cleaning my own home. Might have got some demons I ain't ready to face. Speaking of demons, someone's put this couch all in a mess. Come straighten these pillows out, sure. Someone spilled a drink over by the couch. Done. Feel compelled to share an incredibly cheesy personal insight. You okay with that? Yeah, I'll try to get by. What? What, sir? No. No, it was stupid. Sorry. Never mind. It's never stupid. Dishes need to be washed. Done. Must I check the tub needing the cleaning? Done. There's still books scattered around the floor of the bedroom. Sure. Perfect. Well, how about you come clean these dishes off the table? Eh? After the intense the set fuck? of prison games, this house cleaning level almost feels like cleansing. It's the moment after a particularly difficult house cleaning is so difficult. How do you do it? Where you just need to let it sit and digest inside of you. And eventually cohere into something meaningful. Hmm. What about that cheesy thing? I want to hear about the cheesy thing. I know that Koda really liked this game. Of all of his work, actually, this was the only one that he called me up to ask me to come over and look at it. This was hmm. during a period of a few months where he was like grossly happy all the time, just walked around with a constant smile on his face. That's good. So it occurs to me that one's house is a lot like one's soul. You take care of it, and it takes care of you. <laughs> I don't know why I felt so weird about saying that. There's a bit of truth to it, no? Anyway. So... Housekeeping. Let's keep doing this. Books! Would you please clean up the books, thanks. Are we only doing... The things that they tell. Couch. I'm glad he Again? Did I'm glad he found some peace. Same. Question. Do you but enjoy of this? Of course, it I can't last. The music stops, your companion is gone, it's time to leave. The door at the top of the hill is now open as well. Again, you can't stay in the dark space for too long. You just can't. You have to keep moving. It's how you stay alive. But I wanted to answer the guy's question. Whether I enjoyed it or not. I kinda was, honestly. Which is the whole point of the puzzle doors, right? That sooner or later you have to pick up and move. True. I really thought that was the point of it. Was it not? <sighs> Items you love this at members only prices. Busy. What? Why did you come here today? Was it to improve your life? Was it to get a better job? 
Was it to make your relationships more meaningful? No. You came here to become perfect. This workshop is going to teach you how to be perfect. I want your friends, the people in your life, to look at you and think, Wow, this person is a better human being than I am. Right now, who do you think about that way in your life? Who do you know so well developed as a person that they make you feel disgusted with yourself? Compared to whom you feel useless, selfish, ungrateful. I intend to make you into that person. Perfection is within your grasp. And the question is not how we do it, but how we do it so effortlessly. This is easy. It is so easy. It is so easy. About halfway through the game, being perfect is effortless. Shifts. Oh. Uh, um. What? And you play as the teacher. And suddenly, you discover that your teacher On is the way to work, I told an elderly person to start contributing to society. Oh, and also you can move around the classroom now. <laughs> I still love you, it's just that you make me feel cold on the inside. Thank goodness all of you perceive me as being wise and intelligent. Ew, I'm developing a cyst. <laughs> Gross. I don't want to do some ecstasy after this. <laughs> oh shit, the eye of Sauron's devouring the world behind us. Can I go up? Holy shit, you guys, something's coming out from the back of the room. Look out! <laughs> It's coming for you. It's going to destroy you. I felt pretty hard for this one. Perfection. I feel like it's one of the most relatable experiences that you can have. Is it? To uh, assume that some other person is perfect and totally fulfilled in every way and completely miss all of the little flaws that make them painfully human. I guess. I think about this game a lot these days. Do you? Do you think about the giant eye of Sauron devouring the world? Or that black hole that was taken a photo of a few years back? Do you just think that's gonna fucking... This one took a lot longer than all the others for Coda to make. It was four months between this and the last one. That's twice as long as it took him to make any other game before this. And it's not like it's particularly complex. So I remember I found that a little strange at the time. Okay. Whoa! All right, the performance be is beginning. Laces, please. In this scene, you will be playing as me. We are ga we are the gathering of professionals. First, you'll start leaning against this wall. All right, good. Stay right there. A woman across the room in this chair is a professional photographer of animals. It's your dream to photograph animals professionally. This is your one chance to learn something from her, to gain something, to succeed. Go on, say something to her. Okay, sure. Sup, bitch. Hello? That's it? That's not a conversation. You need to actually converse with her. Be a human being. Do it again. I did. I said hi. That's... That's how con that's how conversations work. That's how you in that's how introductions work, and then you converse. There's a whole like structure thing. I like you. No, no, no. That's not what I said to her at all. You're completely missing the tone of the conversation. I was reserved, but I knew what I wanted. I was confident. For some reason, it was just that one moment, but I was confident. Maybe it's that you need a better feel of the setting. There are a lot of people around us. I'll give you some props to work with. These cones that bounce when you touch them will represent people nearby. Now talk to her again. And stop jumping on her head. <laughs> uh... You must have worked really hard to get where you are. I'm messing it all up again. You'll freak her out if the conversation gets that personal that quickly. Do you not realize how important this was for me? I'll never get an opportunity like this again. Everyone thing was riding on this. Hmm, I want to try something. Try stepping back from the stage. 
But I don't want to. Why are we doing this? Ah! Um. Um. This is what this is what I like. The eerie premonition of what's going to happen next in Coda's life. The solution to social anxiety, to fears of having to perform and having to chase success. The answer for Coda is to withdraw, to hide himself away. Which is what leads to scenarios like the stairs that slowed you down several games ago, where it just becomes harder and harder to access Coda's inner landscape because he keeps retreating. He just keeps backing away from possible connections to anyone other than himself. And to be honest, I didn't consider it very healthy when I first played this game. You know, it, it looked it to me isn't. like he was trying to justify the idea of just disconnecting yourself from the world. And that wasn't what I wanted for him or for his games. Because I feel like a lot of his games are inviting me to connect. To connect with this person. To bring him closer. Um, but in the end, he's do? withdrawing. After this, Coda went off and took another five months to make a new game. What can you do? You can, uh, probably stop what you're doing here. This game properly, you must keep your eyes closed. Click the game to begin the game. Okay. Um. I can't tell what's going on. My eyes are closed. I sense danger. I, I, I hear danger in the sense that there was some explosions and the music, but like... Should I open my eyes? I don't know. I'm gonna keep them closed. Huh? Uh, what? Oh, shit. You should probably open your eyes if you haven't already. It's pretty much impossible to solve otherwise. And there is a solution, by the way. Please tell me how to solve this. Um... Truth. The only way to stop it is to speak something honest. I'm bursting with creative energy. Oh. Okay, so that's not a truth. How about this? My stop is to speak something that is honest. I can't keep making these. Yes, that's it. That's the truth. Oh. Like I I'm said, out of I'm ideas. Concerned. First off, he's never been this explicit in his work about exactly what he's thinking. So, where's that coming from? I haven't been but honest. But then, even weirder, his work has potentially stopped being an outlet for him. Not like he's having trouble iterating on ideas, but he literally just can't think of new ideas anymore. And in person, he was being a lot more distant than usual. Like, you know how sometimes a person will just deflect anything that you say in order to keep themselves disconnected all the time? It was that kind of thing. Okay. And here was the point in my relationship with Coda where I really started to wonder if he needed my help in some way. His games are going to get more desperate from here on out. Are they? this game, it's almost six months before he finishes something new. Why is he still making it, then, if he's having issues, like, pumping anything out like he did before? Hello? Oh. Okay, this is kind of neat. Where did this island come from? Ugh. This is a neat little idea. Is that a person? How lovely! It's been a long time since I talked to anyone. You are. What's wrong? You look lost. I'm completely out of ideas. Oh. Oh no. What happened? Did something change? There's a machine that kept me going, and it stopped. Was it? Was there? Wait, you're looking for a machine? I think I know where it is. It isn't far. What? 
This is actually kind of a neat, like, if the last game thing. featured Coda talking it's guarded by a difficult puzzle, you can at least solve the puzzle while flying the machine. Turns it Deal? Up to now, put yourself in my shoes. Deal? Here. Here's a friend whose work is exhibiting signs of struggle, frustration, anxiety, depression, even. Mm. And yet, still, he keeps making games. He keeps throwing himself into the grinder even when he clearly doesn't have the energy for it anymore. Why? What is it for? Here's the puzzle. What do you think? Because I recognize from this. From my perspective at the time, I've and, solved this and one before. I knew of him, this was a result of how isolated he was. He was in his own little bubble, just sitting at his computer all day, not really showing these games to anyone, uh, not releasing them onto the internet, and so he didn't have anyone outside of himself to connect with. He had no outlet to ground himself on. Hmm. Let's press the switch here. And then done. Nice. You can't talk yourself out of loneliness. It doesn't work that way. True. You can't be the one writing both the questions Whoa. and the answers. Then there's no movement. Then there's no circulation. If all of your anxieties are being channeled into your work, then if the work ever fails, you have no backup and you're just going to crash. You can say that your work is fun and easy. You have to say the game development is simple and joyous and that you love it 100% of the time. It's not. He probably doesn't anymore. Alright, making games is effortless. It's not. Ah, that feels wonderful, but it wasn't true. Don't worry about it, just keep talking. Keep saying that creation is easy. It's not. It's really not. It never was. It's it really fucking time, hard. It looked really unhealthy to me. Every time I make something, I feel better about I was myself. I him do this to himself, and I hated it. I hated seeing him so trapped. It's like... I'm going to vomit. Video games are not worth this amount of suffering. Patience, you have to trust me. I promise this, this will work. Really Please continue. Out. And I used to get so much joy out of seeing him create. For him to suddenly become angry and frustrated like this, it was the worst thing for me. I don't know. This is what I felt at the time. I don't know how else to explain it. I wanted it to stop more than anything. I had never felt so rotten. I just... I needed more than I had ever needed anything for this to stop. But it didn't stop. After finishing this one, Coda takes another seven months and comes up with a new game. Huh. I'm starting to feel really bad for Coda here. The machine. Okay. Ma'am, I'm glad you've arrived safely. We've captured the machine. It's waiting for you now. You can begin the interrogation whenever you like. I intend to be quick. Very good. Just be warned that someone called the press, so it might have a bit of attention on this one. Also, one more thing you should know about the machine. It calls himself Coda. Oh no. No further questions. Hello. You and stop. Of course, it's the machine. The workers keeping us alive. It's only because of your creations that any of us could make it through every day. so alone. Apologize for leaving me. Um. I have seen the thing you fear. Alright, then I will apologize to the people on your behalf. What the fuck is this on? What? This wasn't here before. My friends! 
I have a troubling revelation. The machine will not apologize to us. We will find a way to live without it. We do not need its games. Let us show it that we are not failures. By being failures, we will destroy everything that the machine has created. Will we? Um... Um... Oh. Oh, no. Also, how did this effect work? This seems pretty, uh, fucked up. But I'll make sure you are known forever. What? So now the work is becoming self-destructive. And I'll tell you, at the time that I first played this Isn't game, that what you're scared of? Exposed it. to, to the view of others every day, forever seen in naked clarity? He's stuck in his own head, and that it's having a very negative effect on him, and that all he needs to do is just start showing his work to people, to get some actual feedback on his games. Yeah, but he it doesn't want that. Out of isolation. You can't force so, him to do as that. I'm thinking this, I realized that I could be the one to initiate it. No. Because it would never occur to Coda to start actively soliciting feedback. So, what if I did it for it? Did if you ask could see him? the difference it would make to have more actual conversations with other human beings, would that bring him out of his mental spiral? Did would you it consult him? him? Would it bring meaning back into his work? This is something you consult people over. It's so not something you just... Work to people. Oh, no. I took this one... And the islands which you just played, the theater, the notes, the house cleaning game, and some of the prison uh, escape. Game. I brought them to people that I knew and trusted. I asked their opinions. And the great part is that they really loved his games. You know, the that's point cool, of was just but... to give him some external reference point, but they, they genuinely loved his work. There was nothing for him to be afraid of. But he didn't want that. You can't force someone to just do that. You can't force someone to accept that kind of shit. Put down your weapon. I literally can't. Can you see why I felt like this was the right thing to do? Because it's the thing that I always feel like I need. To be told that my work is good. That I am good. When when someone really connects with the um, thing that I've made, when they see themselves purely in my work, there's nothing that feels better. Um, I got to give that very same feeling to my friend. I did something without his I consent. Really felt like I'd done something good. Like like I was a good person. I felt like there was a friend who was in trouble and was unhappy and and maybe didn't like themselves, and I could fix it if I could give him this gift, not, maybe I could fix the problem. That's not how that works. When they told me how much they enjoyed his games, it was the best feeling. It was the absolute best feeling. It, it made me feel so happy. For yourself so or for him? Beautifully, beautifully happy. I'm starting to get the feeling that this is like a selfish need to uh, validate yourself rather than to validate your friend. So anyway... Coda finishes this game, and then really he just kind of takes off for a while. Okay. So this is June of 2011, and I didn't hear anything from him for several weeks, I guess. Um, and so out of nowhere, one day I get an email. And Let's it's say got stop a sending to a new people game my games. This one is called The Tower, and to my knowledge, it's the last game that Coda ever made. Okay. So let's take a look. Dude, what the fuck, man? This isn't really good. Um, a lot of dread going on here. And this is where I have trouble saying anything meaningful about Coda's work. Because more than anything else, the tower just feels distant. It feels like yeah, it's trying bit. to distance itself from the world. It's a very cold game. Eh. Huh. 
does in fact feel that way. Like this is a giant ass tower of evil. This room actually has a maze in it. Nice. Um, whoa. Except that all the walls of the maze are invisible. And then every time you touch one of the walls, there's this uh. awful flashing and noise. So the experience is really miserable. The game goes beyond not being meant to be played. It actually seems to despise the player for trying to play it at all. But I do want to show you the rest of the level. So when you're ready to continue, press enter and I'll put a bridge over the maze. Okay. I would like to know, like, where, how the maze is laid out, though. And to be fair, it's not like this is the first game that's needed some modification to be playable. Like the house cleaning game. You know, that one used to actually loop the cleaning chores and you just cleaned a house forever. But if that's the name of the off, game... So you could exit the house and the game would actually end. But Why? that game had an idea that it was actually trying to communicate. What's the deeper idea behind the invisible maze? The only way past this challenge is to randomly guess the six-digit code. Hmm. Like the invisible maze, it's frustrating to me. Because it's the opposite of everything else that Coda has made. It doesn't encourage thought or engagement. It doesn't ask anything of me, except a lot of my time. If I could have reached him during this time, then maybe I could have asked him, but I couldn't. I still don't really understand why this is here. I'll put the code on the ground for you here, though, so that we can move on. Okay, one... Five... Four, five, six... Six, seven... Okay. I don't know... If I should even be playing this. I don't know how to feel about this. Seems like I'm playing someone's secret art diary that they didn't share with anyone, that they didn't want to share with anyone. And I'm stepping on boundaries I shouldn't. Oh, door. The switch to open this door is actually on the other side of the door, meaning that it's literally impossible to solve from this side. So, even if you somehow brute forced your way through the first two challenges, and you got to this point, there's actually just no way to progress. And it's scary for me, the idea of Koda cutting himself off entirely, just saying, you know, that's it, that's the end of the conversation, not giving me any way to fix the problem. But maybe there's not a problem to fix. When I can't fix the problem. I mean, same, I but like, it's not so always something that, that can be fixed. Sometimes... The only way to fix a problem is to just not Wasn't deal with it anymore. For not understanding this game. Okay, maybe I'm thinking that wrong. I don't know why I would be. It's not like everything needs to have a solution, but I feel it somehow. If nothing, if not like everything I needs a solution, then there's not I a don't understand not why. a way to fix every problem. Sometimes it's just broken beyond repair, and the only way know. to get it's better and grow is to step away I'm from playing it. this for the very first time. And as I'm playing, I'm thinking to myself. I don't know this person. I have no idea who this person is. It wasn't the you guy did I knew. for it wasn't a pile. Friend. I had come to so many conclusions from looking at all of his work up to this point, and then suddenly none of them. I had been trying to, though. That was the thing. For years, I was trying to get to know him, to understand who he actually was and, and what he stood for. I asked him so many times to please just tell me what his games mean to him. I asked him please to tell me what the three dots mean. And he wouldn't. Maybe because he didn't know? Maybe because they meant something to him more than anyone else and you're stepping on boundaries by asking? Incessantly? I, I just felt so strongly that I, I got connected with him. That if I could have somehow made his work my own, that I would finally be once and for all happy. What? It was that I needed to see myself in someone else. What? I needed to be someone other than me. See, make but his work your own? Left. What? And it felt somehow like I had failed. So trying to make his work your own, that's why. 
That, that's not cool, dude. No wonder he didn't talk to you ever again. It's not right. You don't, like, take someone's abstract art and then claim it as your own and then call it a fucking day. No. You probably introduced his games as your own. That's not good. Where did I screw up? You probably screwed up from minute one when you showed up, showed this to everybody in the fucking world. You're Davey. I thank you for your interest in my games. I need to ask you not to speak to me I anymore. I am the reason that you stopped making games, aren't I? Oh. It's because of what I did. Yeah. I poisoned it for you. What you're doing now. I bet. I don't How many think times do you think I'm making these games but for you? When I took your work and I was showing it to people. What? It actually felt... <laughs> it felt as though I were responsible for something important and valuable. I don't think you were. You so infected my personal space that it's possible I did begin to plant solutions in my work somewhere, hidden between games. And there was an answer, a meaning. Them, Would it make you any happier? They treated me like I was important. Why? They really listened and cared about what I had to say. Even though I was showing your work, it was... I felt good about myself. Finally. For a moment, while I had that, I liked myself. Stop making... Taking my games and showing them to people against my wishes. There we go! Giving him something that is not yours to give, violating the one boundary that keeps me safe. Would you stop changing my games? Stop adding lampposts to them? Wait, that was your thing? Son of a bitch! Would you simply and let you them stopped. be what they are? And I didn't have anything left to show people. Why would you I, show I people that anyway? I with myself. And as soon as that happened, there was no feeling at all. I'm around nothing. you. I am physic Less I feel physically ill. You desperately need that something that I cannot give you. I literally do not have it. Struggling to come up with new ideas is not making me depressed. Low points are just a part of the process. The fact that you think I am frustrated or broken says more about you than about me. I realize that this doesn't make sense to you just yet. Which is fine. You're not my problem to solve. But I hope that one day it clicks and that you make peace with this thing you are wrestling. I'm afraid that I did something really stupid because I don't like myself. And when you finally see what I'm talking about, don't say anything. That's oh. why I'm releasing this collection of your work. That's why you should be Because I haven't been able to find any other way to reach you. I've tried everything, and so a part of me has hope that if I put this compilation out into the world, and if I put my name on it, that maybe enough people will play it so that it'll find its way to you, so that I can tell you that I'm sorry. You can be sorry, but that doesn't mean up. that oh, if the walls I are closing in. To you, truly and deeply, will you start making games again? Please, Probably I is, need to feel dude. okay with myself again. And oh. I always felt okay as long as I had your work to see myself in. Mm -mm. I mean, is, is something wrong with me? A little bit? Because I know that I did an awful thing, and I'm doing it again right now. Like, I'm, I'm showing people your work. Don't but do it then. I can't stop myself from doing it. That's how badly I need to feel something again. Like, I'm an addict. There has to be something wrong with me. Yeah, there is. Go to therapy. What if I tell you I was wrong? Will that work? Will that fix it? I, I, I don't know. I don't think it will, but there's nothing else that I can do. Just tell me what you want. I'm I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please, start making games again. Please help me. Please give me some of whatever it is that, that makes you complete. I want whatever that wholeness is that you just summoned out of nothing and you put into your work. You were complete in some way that I never was. And I want to know how to, how to... I want to know how to be a good person. I want to know how not to hate myself. Please. I'm fading, and all I want is to know that I'm going to be okay. Wow. Dude. Um. 
I don't think Coda can help you, man. Epilogue. I thought Coda was done making games. Maybe this isn't a Coda game. Maybe this is a Danny thing. We're in a train station, I think. Yeah, train station. More love, more praise, more people telling me that I'm good. Always more, more, more. It's like a disease. Kind of? I mean, yeah, we all want that sort of as people, but like, to depend on it solely is wrong, dude. And to ruin someone else's happiness just to have your own, that's even worse. It's a nice train, though. I don't think I'd be solution. caught in it, though. Solution, solution. You don't need one? Oh, hello. That's non-Euclidean geometry right there. I like that. That's cool. Not everything has to have a solution. Not everything has to be catered to you. I guess if someone had told me ahead of time that he just I guess. really enjoyed making prison games, maybe I wouldn't have thought he was so desperate. Maybe. I wouldn't have told so many people that he was depressed. You told people he was depressed? Maybe he just likes making prisons. Maybe he just wanted to have that as his art form or something. Like, why are you telling people... An issue that he prob he might have had when he didn't want to. That's some personal shit, dude. That's fucked up. Even now, the disease is telling me to stop. Don't show people what a shitty person you are. They'll hate you. Kinda, yeah. I don't like you that much myself right now. I'm sensing a butt, though. Whoa. The world just kind of went black there. Oh. Beautiful cave system. Don't think this is a Coda thing, though. Wow, man. I knew that my life depended on finding something to be driven by other than validation. What would that even be? Burgers? I'm all for that. Strange, but the thought of not being driven by external validation is unthinkable. Like, I actually cannot conceive of what that would be like. I mean... Internal validation's a thing. Do something for you, not because someone else wants you to do it. Because someone likes it. Let's do what you like. You know? You want to make something for the sake of making something, then go ahead. That's what Coda did, apparently. He made a Counter-Strike map with weird block placements just because he wanted to. He made that puzzle thing just because he wanted to. And then you modded it for fucking whatever reason, just to validate yourself, I guess. That's not cool. Try internal validation. Hype yourself up. Be your own hype man. Do what you love, for the sake of it, as long as it's not illegal or scummy. I think I need to go. I think you do too. And I'm sorry, because I know that I said that I would be here and I, and I would walk you through this, but I'm I've been walked through enough, like dude. A lot of work to do. You got a lot to make, lot up for. to make up for. Yeah, you so, do. You really do. Gonna... You really do. Man. Okay. Bye. I'll walk through this. Yeah, the landscapes are gorgeous, but like, fuck, dude. That's like four hundred thousand problems in one. Not trying to sound intolerant, but like, yeah, Coda, good job of bailing out on that one. You are definitely not, not Danny's problem solver. 
That's not... Or Davey. Was it Davey or Danny? I think it was Danny. But I'm probably wrong. It's probably Davey. That's... Yeah, it's not... Coda's problem... To solve your problems. That... Uh, oh. Yeah, I'm glad you found some solace in his work, but... And I'm sure he's fine. He's happy about that, too, but... You're still... Kind of... Being scummy by sharing his work when he didn't want it shared. It wasn't yours to share. It wasn't your place to talk about his problems with random people he didn't know. It's like, fuck, dude. You invaded his privacy. You ruined his privacy, even. That's fucked up. I hope my nephews aren't hearing me swear excessively. They probably are. I mean, one of them's kind of talking, but still isn't coherent yet, so I think we'll be fine. You might not remember hearing the word fuck. <sighs> Wait, what? Is that the... It shows up a little bit better on the feed, but is that the... That's the lightning thing from the Whisper Machine. Am I gonna throw myself into the Whisper Machine? Oh yeah, it does show up better on the feed. Eh. Ah! We're going up! We're going up! I think a video just loaded. Huh. Oh. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh. That's a puzzle right there. Oh god. I ain't solving it. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want to solve it. That's not a thing I require. Is that really just one giant ass labyrinth or is it like a pattern after a while? Something tells me like for a while it's actually a puzzle and then for a beyond that it's just a static a bunch of static images that loop. Wow, that was deep, yo. Not sure if Code is a real person, though. 4R. Pretty sure Code is not a real person, though. So, all of that, totally not a reason to email them with hatred. Project would not have been possible without the following individuals. These people! Down below. <sighs> That was beautiful. Actually really hoping Koda's not a real person, though. Cause, uh... Holy shit, dude, you fucked up royally, man. If they're a real person, you totally screwed them over. Holy shit, man. You broke, like, 400 moral codes and probably a few copyright laws just by posting this. I never thought it was possible to be such a douchebag. It probably isn't possible to be such a douchebag. Because again, Coda's probably not a real person. But if Coda is a real person, holy shit, do I feel sorry for you having to put up with that for any length of time. Oh my god, that's so bad. You did the right thing, my dude. And by that I mean Coda, not... not Davy. Not Mr. Davy Jones, who, uh, really needs to chill, and really needs to find therapy. Well, they probably did, considering this game is about... how old is this? At least a few years old. Steam Store, what does it say? Yeah, about four years old. 
They're about, yeah. I guess that's about it, then. So this has been the Beginner's Guide. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe for more. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Thank you to Shrew and Lovey for supporting me on Patreon. Thank you to Word Bird, Dark Castle, and 3DS for supporting me on Twitch. And as always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye!